Hey there, fellow seekers of eternal youth. Today we're diving into the five forbidden foods that Dr. David Sinclair avoids like the plague to maintain his youthful glow. And we're diving deep into the world of Dr. David Sinclair, the man who seems to have discovered the fountain of youth in his pantry. Now you might be thinking, who's this Dr. Sinclair guy and why should I care? Well, my friends, Dr. Sinclair is basically the Benjamin Button of the science world. He's all about hacking aging and looking way younger than his years. And what we've found is that by living a healthy life, the kind of life that we'll talk about later, you can slow that rate of aging. Dr. Sinclair, a 54-year-old Harvard scientist, has become an advocate of the idea that aging is a disease that can and should be treated. He even says that aging is humanity's greatest epidemic and that we should devote more resources to finding a cure. He has several key anti-aging principles for longevity, and his biological age is 30 years younger than his chronological age. His anti-aging principles include a healthy diet, intermittent fasting, regular exercise, meditation, and cold therapy. He also avoids excessive sun exposure and smoking. Dr. David Sinclair eats a plant-based diet and drinks plenty of water throughout the day. He also believes that a diet high in animal protein can accelerate aging as it causes inflammation. In his opinion, the most important eating habit for longevity is intermittent fasting. He says it is not only important what we eat, but also how many times a day we eat. He currently uses an 18.6 intermittent fasting plan, which means he fasts for 18 hours a day and has a six hour window in which he eats. In the morning, he relies on food supplements, skips lunch and only eats a proper meal in the evening. He and his team have discovered that after 12 to 14 hours without food, the body switches into survival mode and activates more sirtuins, the so-called anti-aging enzymes. My body has responded, I look better, I think my skin is better, I feel better, my memory is certainly better. But I think it's not just what you eat, it's also when you eat and this constant eating three meals a day plus snacks, is making us age faster than we need to. Intermittent fasting can be practiced in different ways. One of the most widespread forms allows you to eat normally for eight hours and fast for 16 hours. This is a matter of habit and is harmless to your health as long as you are not pregnant, suffer from a pre-existing condition or have an eating disorder. However, eating just one meal a day, as David Sinclair does, is likely to be more difficult for many of us. In any case, it's best to consult your doctor before trying intermittent fasting or slowly try out longer breaks between meals and see how your body reacts. One of the main ways that intermittent fasting can promote health is by activating a process known as autophagy. Autophagy is the body's own mechanism for recycling old or damaged cells and is associated with many benefits. Some of these benefits include a longer lifespan and protection against diseases such as cancer. This is what Dr. Sinclair does during intermittent fasting. He skips breakfast. He consumes a small amount of olive oil or yogurt with supplements. He drinks a lot of water to satisfy his hunger. He eats a plant-based nutritious dinner. He takes a mixture of different products every day, which he believes have a positive effect on cell aging. This has changed steadily over the years and consists of the following medications and dietary supplements, among others, metformin, this is a prescription drug used to treat type 2 diabetes. It activates the AMPK enzyme, which boosts fat burning and inhibits the formation of cholesterol. MN, nicotinamide mononucleotide. The substance is a precursor of the molecule NAD, nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide, which supplies energy to sirtuins. Sirtuins, in turn, are enzymes that are supposed to slow down aging. Resveratrol. Resveratrol is found in wine, cocoa and blueberries, among other things. It has antioxidant properties and also activates the sirtuins. Betaine. Betaine is considered both an anti-aging agent and a performance-enhancing substance for athletes. Apart from the fact that the effect of David Sinclair's cocktail of drugs and supplements has not been scientifically proven, there are other stumbling blocks for people who want to follow the longevity researchers' example. For starters, they won't be able to legally obtain the drug metformin unless they have type 2 diabetes. You should also be aware that metformin is a drug and that this tip is currently the subject of controversy among many. It's a medication commonly prescribed to treat type 2 diabetes, a condition characterized by high blood sugar levels, 
resulting from the body's inability to effectively use insulin, metformin belongs to a class of drugs known as biguanides and works by lowering blood sugar levels primarily by decreasing the amount of glucose produced by the liver and increasing the sensitivity of muscle cells to insulin. It can also cause side effects such as diarrhea and gastrointestinal complaints and prevent the absorption of vitamin B12. Personally, I would never take drugs. I would also be afraid of studies that would only come out in a few years' time, where possible side effects would be proven. What is your personal opinion on this topic? Feel free to let me know in the comments. I can only recommend that you always critically evaluate all tips from the internet, and also from professors and other credible people. Take them as inspiration, so to speak, and then go into more in-depth research on your own and form your own opinion. Dr. Sinclair also uses the dietary supplement NMN. NMN is a precursor to nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide, NAD+, a molecule involved in various cellular processes, including energy metabolism and DNA repair. As there are no long-term studies on the effect of the supplements mentioned, these tips from Dr. David Sinclair should be taken with a grain of salt. In any case, you should always consult a doctor on these topics. Now let's talk about the food that Dr. David Sinclair avoids and generally advises against for a long, healthy life. One, sugar. Dr. David Sinclair has spoken about the detrimental effects of sugar on aging based on scientific evidence and his own research. If you're talking about cane sugar, sucrose, uh, I would try to limit that as much as possible, unfortunately. Uh, I gave up eating desserts in my 40s, though I do steal it from people at the table, so Serena orders the desserts for me. Uh, but really, sugar is something that is known to be toxic in the long run. It's sucrose, which forms glucose, will attach to your, your body's components. Your proteins will become what's called glycated, and that's known to drive aging as well. Here's why Dr. Sinclair and many other experts believe that sugar can accelerate aging. Glycation, one of the key mechanisms through which sugar can accelerate aging, is through a process called glycation. When sugar molecules in the bloodstream bind to proteins or fats without the control of enzymes, they form harmful compounds known as advanced glycation end products, ages. These ages can accumulate in tissues over time, leading to oxidative stress, inflammation, and damage to cells and tissues. Glycation is implicated in the development of age-related diseases and can contribute to the formation of wrinkles, sagging skin, and other signs of aging. Insulin resistance. High sugar intake can lead to insulin resistance, a condition in which cells become less responsive to the effects of insulin. Insulin resistance can result in elevated blood sugar levels and increased insulin production, which in turn can promote inflammation, oxidative stress, and cellular damage. Chronic insulin resistance is associated with an increased risk of type 2 diabetes, cardiovascular disease, and other age-related conditions. Inflammation, excessive sugar consumption has been linked to increased inflammation in the body. Chronic inflammation is a hallmark of many age-related diseases, including heart disease, Alzheimer's disease, and certain types of cancer. Inflammation can accelerate aging by promoting tissue damage, impairing cellular function, and contributing to the breakdown of collagen and elastine, proteins that keep skin firm and elastic. Oxidative stress, sugar metabolism generates reactive oxygen species, ROS, which are highly reactive molecules that can cause damage to cells and tissues through oxidative stress. Oxidative stress is implicated in the aging process and is associated with the development of age-related diseases such as cancer, neurodegenerative disorders, and cardiovascular disease. Shortened telomeres. Some studies have suggested that high sugar intake may be associated with accelerated cellular aging and shortened telomeres, the protective caps at the ends of chromosomes. Shortened telomeres are a marker of cellular aging and are linked to an increased risk of age-related diseases and premature mortality. Two, bread. While bread can be part of a balanced diet for many people, Dr. David Sinclair cautions against excessive consumption of bread, especially varieties made from refined grains, due to its potential to contribute to insulin resistance, inflammation, glycation, nutrient deficiencies, and gut health issues. Opting for whole grain or alternative grain varieties of bread and consuming it in moderation as part of a nutrient-dense diet 
may be a more prudent approach for supporting healthy aging and longevity. Three, fried foods. Foods that are deep fried or cooked in unhealthy oils are likely off the menu for Dr. Sinclair. Fried foods are often high in unhealthy trans fats and saturated fats, which can raise cholesterol levels, contribute to arterial plaque buildup, and increase the risk of heart disease and stroke. Four, red meat and processed meats. Dr. Sinclair limits his consumption of red meat and processed meats such as bacon, sausage, hot dogs, and deli meats. Well, I love meat. I would love to eat meat. They taste, it tastes really good. It's just the science says plants give you better bang for the buck for longevity than meat. I mean, you can eat meat occasionally. Fish, for example, has a lot of great omega-3 fatty acids. Um, so I'm not against meat. I just think try to focus more on plants if you can. These meats are typically high in sodium and saturated fats, and they may also contain additives such as nitrites, which have been linked to an increased risk of certain cancers, particularly colorectal cancer. David Sinclair eats meat from time to time, but he tends to eat a vegetarian diet and gets most of his vitamins and proteins from plant-based foods. Five, processed food. Dr. David Sinclair emphasizes the importance of avoiding or minimizing processed foods as part of a strategy to support optimal health and extend lifespan. Processed foods often lack essential nutrients compared to whole, minimally processed foods. Many processed foods are stripped of fiber, vitamins, minerals, and other beneficial compounds during manufacturing processes such as refining and milling. As a result, relying heavily on processed foods can lead to nutrient deficiencies and compromise overall health and vitality. Processed foods frequently contain high levels of added sugars, unhealthy fats, and artificial additives to enhance flavor, texture, and shelf life. Diets high in processed foods have been linked to an increased risk of chronic diseases such as heart disease, stroke, type 2 diabetes, certain cancers, and neurodegenerative disorders. Many processed foods contain refined carbohydrates, trans fats, and other ingredients that can promote inflammation, oxidative stress, insulin resistance, and other factors associated with the development of age-related diseases. Many processed foods contain artificial additives, preservatives, and flavorings to improve taste, appearance, and shelf life. Choosing whole, minimally processed foods can help reduce exposure to potentially harmful additives and support overall health and longevity. These are the five foods Dr. David Sinclair avoids to maintain his youthful appearance and health. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to like the video if you liked it. Bye.